All right, this video is gonna be a little bit different, but trust me, just stick around. I think you're gonna enjoy it. So when it comes to training, some of the most interesting people to study are the physical culturists of the late 1800s and the early 1900s. And the thing I love about the fitness figures around this time was the emphasis on physical exercise as part of an overall health practice. And old school physical culturists, they were very different than modern day bodybuilders. And instead of pursuing an enormous physique at any cost, they were the living advertisements for the power of physical training as a way to build health, vitality, and physical competence. And I think the context is really important here because this was an era when medicine couldn't offer you a solution to most of your health problems. And while it's never a guarantee, building your health with physical exercise was one of the best insurance policies against disability, disease, and an early death. And it still is because in terms of most chronic diseases, there does not exist a pill that can replace what a healthy lifestyle can offer you, not even close. Now, when it comes to aesthetics, people are people and a lot of people wanna look good. And certainly a hundred years ago, people wanted to look good too, and they did. And in my opinion, this era produced peak aesthetics in its popular culture fitness figures. And it did so with minimal equipment, without supplements, without steroids, without overly complex training. But the bottom line is that most of these training programs of this time were marketed as health systems and aesthetics were just the outward display of your health and fitness, kind of like the surface level representation of the strength of your inner life force. They weren't nearly as big as modern bodybuilders, but they emanated vitality, physical competence, and confidence. They've got that strong flame. And to me, that's a defining characteristic of the physiques of this era and something worth modeling. And in my opinion, this era serves as the ultimate reference point for what we should strive to achieve with good training and a healthy lifestyle. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.